Hello everybody, and welcome back to the channel. My name is the Prince of Snap, and if you're new here, please consider subscribing. And also, be sure to hit that notification bell. That way, you'll indeed be notified of any awesome videos like this in the future. Alright everybody, the first ornament review of the 2021 season, We're taking a look at dog ornaments, and specifically my two favorite dog species that exist, the pug, which I'm sure surprises none of you who are regular viewers of the channel, and the Yorkie. This one is way better because it actually came from a place that sold this ornament, but this is from a company called Canvas? It's pretty cool. I wanted to get the pug ornament that was created by Rocco. I don't know if the ornaments themselves come from Rocco, but I always see that the Rocco store sells these ones. So I'm assuming that they are connected with the people that make these at least. But this one is from Canvas and it's a little pug. He's got a nice, really cool kind of ribbon style, um, I guess, collar with a nice jingle bell on it. And then he's got a really cool, these kind of um, reindeer antlers on his head, which are pretty cool. Um, the base of the antlers, like the headband, is is done in a uh, in like what looks like a pipe cleaner. And then obviously these are felt with sprinkles of uh, glitter, which is going to get everywhere. Yuck! Also, the pug itself has glitter on it, so Welcome Eighty Four Gamer would not like to have this ornament, as he's strictly against glitter. For and I, I can understand that because it gets everywhere. It just never ends, but it's pretty cool. Kind of gives the glitteriness to the pug, makes him seem magical. You know, he's, he's feeming with that Christmas magic, but he is pretty cool. The pug is nice. Not a very cute looking pug, but I mean, it's, I mean, it is cute. You can't really not make a pug cute, but it seems kind of more like an old grumpy pug. He doesn't seem that cute, but uh, he is still kind of cute because he's a pug, so you know, it's kind of a whole, their whole thing. Uh, not to mention their, their horrendous breathing problems, but there's the pug. This is, comes to us from Canvas Ornaments. You can pick that one up if you want at Canadian Tire, because that's where I got mine. This one's pretty cool. Got this one at Rocco. This one's a uh, Yorkshire Terrier. He's hanging out in the stocking. You hang him up. He looks pretty cool. Sorry, I bumped the camera. He looks pretty cool. You can hang him up like that, and that looks really awesome. But yeah, I like how he's just kind of curled up there. It looks really nice, and... Uh, I think it's the most cutest thing ever. This is a Yorkshire Terrier. And I just think the painting and just the sculpting on this particular ornament knocks this ornament out of the park. Now, this is just a generic Christmas ornament. You know, but this one was done by people that really know what they're doing. And that's what I like about Rocco is they, they sell these kind of statues and house decor, but it's really well done and surprisingly affordable. Um, they had a really nice tiger, uh, tiger like cub, uh, little statue ornament that I thought about buying, and it's only retailing for about 50 bucks, so it's surprisingly affordable for something like a life size tiger cub statue um, that you could just put on your side table or on your dresser. But well, this guy looks pretty cool. I paid eight bucks for him, and he's pretty cool. I think I paid about the same for this guy, too even though he's just not as well made as this guy. I believe these ones are also hand painted too, but it just looks so real. Like if you look at that guy right there, he looks so real. The eyes actually look like they're wet and alive. It just looks so real. It looks like there's a little miniature Yorkshire Terrier hanging out in this tiny stocking. It's the cutest thing ever. But yeah, these guys are awesome. I wanted to get the pug, uh, you know, dog stocking ornament, but this one, will suffice to, because I still got my pug ornament. I just got it from a different, um, far less successful company. But they are pretty cool. I think they're super awesome. They look great on the tree next to one another. And this one, I just can't stop going back to this one. It's really well done. I got my mom one of these for, for Christmas. I put it in her stocking. And it's a dog that looks eerily similar to Gabe, which is our family dog. So I think she'll enjoy that one. Um, but yeah, I think they're really nice ornaments, definitely two different styles, this one's a more cartoony kind of, you know, style, and this one's more realistic, as you can see, that it literally looks like a mini 
freaking Yorkshire Terrier hanging out in a stocking. How cool is that? This marks the beginning of the Christmas 2021 review season on the channel, so rest assured you can look forward to seeing other awesome ornaments featured on the channel like this one, and even Christmas movies throughout the December season. So that being said, hope you guys enjoyed, do take care, have a great night, and happy holidays. Merry Christmas.